Like I, I think officiating is a tough job. I think you guys, you know, watch the games. I think Austin has the puck a lot. Should he draw more penalties? Probably, but uh, it's not a topic we really need to get into. You have to game to game assess how the game's getting called, and you have to adjust. And that's that's what we're that's, as players we're uh, used to doing. In, in past, when you've been on teams where goalies have struggled, how do you rally around them, Jason, help them get their game back? Yeah, you play better in front of them. Uh, you try to score goals to you know early in games to give a lead to give the goalie a cushion. I think. Uh, you try to protect middle ice and try to limit the scoring chances from inside. So I think we have to do a better job of uh, reducing the great A's that our goalies are seeing. What do you work on things? Peter oh. What's Sorry. Peter's holding up? Uh, I had, like, I had, because I haven't played the last couple of games, I didn't see him last night or really see him this morning either. Um, but he's a competitive guy. I'm sure he wants to bounce back from that one. And uh, he's a guy that, uh, you know, he's going to, I'm sure, be motivated for the next time he gets in that. How, how hard does it be for you guys to work on things that you need to work on in an environment like Sunday where it's outdoors, it's very unfamiliar, and so some variables there? Yeah, it's, it's not the ideal conditions for working on something into, per se or build or trying to build, but I think it's a great opportunity to have a, a big stage against a team that you know, we've just played. Uh, it's a really cool atmosphere. Maybe it's a welcome change for us, uh, I think. So I think you, know, you try to draw the positives. Like, yes, is a little disruption in the season. Yes, but it, maybe it's a good disruption in the season for us at this point. So uh, I'm looking forward to the game. What about, you know, 2014, you played an outdoor game, but it was really an indoor game. And you said actually be outdoors for, for one of these? Yeah, that was a yeah, it was a cool. Uh, that was a great experience in Vancouver. Uh, the roof was open, so it felt outdoors a little bit. But then the sun kind of affected the ice. So um, different scenarios. When you're in the elements, you don't know what to expect. So we could have snow, rain, sun, whatever. And I think it's it's uh, it's fun. I, I love playing outside. I still get outside and skate quite a bit, and I think it's great. So uh, it's going to be a cool atmosphere. For you, I know a rink close to where you grew up, where you learned the game, just getting this opportunity, if you're in, what, what does it mean to you? What, what do you think about, you think about outdoor hockey? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if there's the significance of anything with being in Hamilton and being close to Toronto for me personally, but outdoor hockey I love. I just think it's very pure in its finest form. That's what we love as kids is unstructured play. And uh, I love getting, my dad would drop me off at the city rinks and I'd play for hours with men and uh, I think that's where my game grew a lot too, and I think that uh, as a kid, that unstructured time is amazing. And now to have an NHL game outdoors is it's a cool experience. That you know, I played 20 years, and it's only been my second game, so they're they're great experiences. The wind in your hair, Jason. Come again? The wind in your hair. Yeah, maybe not as much wind in the hair as maybe uh, you know a few years ago. What was the uh, what was behind the, the two games off for you? How did you take that? Was that resting? Was that? Uh... Uh, I take it as I got to play better. I want to be in the lineup every night. And, uh, if I was playing better, I'd be in the lineup. Jason, where do you feel you've been up your game? Um, I think just you know making our line a positive line where we're you know contributing good shifts and uh, I'm the leader of the line and you know, it's important that you know we're able to be trusted by the coach to go out there and give positive shifts and I think uh, we also have the capability to chip in with you know big goals here and there so um, I think that's where you know an area that I want to focus on. Do you think this group sometimes plays down to its opposition or plays up to it? I think that's a the leading question. I don't think we're the only group that plays down at times to teams. Um, I think if you look around the league, there's you know it, it can be a, an issue for some of the top teams. So um, I think in the we've hit a stretch here where we've played teams that are out of the playoffs and we're not playing our best hockey. Uh, early in the year when we played against teams that were out of the playoffs, when we were playing our best hockey, it wasn't an issue at all. So I don't know if it's a cause and effect of playing the bad teams or just how we're playing right now. Thank you.